Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the Trading Drip channel. This is going to be a technical analysis update for Bitcoin. As yesterday, we saw the price of Bitcoin drop below $59,000 briefly. So if we break down this flash crash in the order flow right here, what we can see is the selling pressure pretty much started around the point New York session opened and then it ended around 7 p.m. So just after London session went offline and then around New York session close, buyers stepped back in to drive price back up to daily session VWAP. Then there was low volume traded. Then Asian session was bullish. They continued to buy up holding above daily session VWAP, which is bullish to see. And now today during London open, London session has been pretty aggressively buying the subs. So New York session is about to open up in around 30 minutes of the time of me filming this video. So the question is, will New York session continue to buy this up? And that was the extent of this flash crash or could New York potentially rotate price back down as they continue to sell off. If we head over to TradingView and look at momentum indicators, what we can see is there is a textbook bullish divergence on the four hour time frame. This is usually the sign that there is going to be a trend reversal as sellers have been exhausted on this wick right here. So momentum indicators on the four hour time frame are looking kind of bullish. But when we look at this Fibonacci retracement, you can see that liquidity grab that we had yesterday may have been a swing failure pattern of the Fibonacci golden pocket. So that there may have been the extent of this liquidity grab. When we look at the liquidation map over the last seven days, we can see a lot of shorts opened up in the market. So many of these shorts that opened up here will be in the profit right now. And then when we look at the one day liquidation map, we can see the opposite is here, meaning as price dropped below $60,000, we're now seeing more longs are starting to open up. So the four hour time frame is looking bullish. If we look at higher time frames like the daily time frames, so this time frame here may soon put in a little trigger wave right here as this momentum wave starts to come up. And then over time, what we can see is momentum is coming in on the daily time frame as money flows in the positive as price is just making higher lows over time. So this is bullish market structure holding around that 200 day exponential moving average, which is this long term trend line, which you can see me flashing on the screen right now. So that long term trend line there is confluence with the Fibonacci golden pocket and the key psychological price point of $60,000. So holding above $60,000 is very important. There can be the swing failure pattern wicks, liquidity grabs below $60,000 because obviously a lot of people will set their stop losses just below that long-term trend line. So it can lead to a bit of a stop loss chain. But as price drops below $60,000, as long as we see aggressive buyers step back in, price should hold above this long-term trend line, putting in bullish market structure over time. So everything's looking healthy on the daily time frame. The one time frame that I'm not a fan of right now is the three-day time frame. The three-day time frame as the days go by, it's starting to look more and more bearish. As you guys have seen in previous videos on the Trading Drip channel, I was hoping for a scenario that looked a little something like this, where we had a little red dot here, but then it was very quickly followed by a green dot. It looked like we were about to get it here. As you can see, momentum was starting to clip back up, but then boom, suddenly dropped down. VWAP got rejected pretty aggressively off the zero line. What we can still see is money flow is making higher lows over time, but I still do not like the look of this momentum wave. So there is still a possibility that the three day momentum drags down price over the weekend. So personally, I hold a long position in Bitcoin, but I've already taken quite a lot of profits out of that position. And I personally won't be adding to my Bitcoin long position because I'm not a fan of this three day momentum right now. So I want to see either that VWAP start to curve back up or for money flow to get closer to zero before I consider adding to my Bitcoin long position. So that may happen at some point next week. When we zoom out and look at even higher time frames, like the five day time frame, what we can see here, money flow is falling off over time. This momentum wave here might put in a nasty trigger wave to the downside. As we can see, VWAP is already starting to come back in. So if we don't see that VWAP starting to curve up, this shit might get pretty nasty real quick. And we might see price fall back into this lower half of this downwards regression trend channel. So I'll be using that as a buy the dip opportunity. But for now, I'm not taking any action. I'm literally just watching the chart. So worst case scenario, we may see price fall down to this anchored VWAP line right here, which as you can see in the past has been a strong support levels. And that anchored VWAP price is around fifty four to $55,000 right now. It's hard to imagine what may cause price to quickly fall down to that level. Again, as we know back here, it was the Japanese cash and carry trade unwinding. So it may be some sort of black swan event or potentially war escalation. We don't really know right now, but what we do know is technical analysis on the higher time frames are starting to tell us that money flow is coming out over time and momentum may potentially clip out. So this is why in my opinion, you want to be treading cautiously right here. If you're aggressively long from the bottom of the range, 
consider scaling out some profits from your position right now but definitely have some skin in the game just in case this momentum has a resurgence back up and money flow starts to come up over time you just never know when the time frames are looking like this right now which is why the best case scenario is to be prepared against both scenarios if price pumps you should be happy and if price comes back down you should also be happy because you can add to your position or maybe you have a head short position right now which you'll make profits on if we wrap up this video by looking at the liquidation heat map there was a bit of liquidity that opened up around sixty thousand dollars which we were talking about way back here on the trading drip channel and we knew that liquidity was still sitting there i personally thought the liquidity would have been taken out last weekend but as we saw this week has been pretty much an uptrending week until thursday when this liquidity has now been taken out and even though we saw that some long positions have been opening up over the last day we can see in the liquidation heat map it's not a significant level for us to even see these bright areas here on the liquidation heat map but if we zoom out and look at the one month liquidation heat map which takes into account these candles from way back in September, we can now see that there is actually some liquidity sitting around $57,000. So as you guys have seen in today's analysis, the lower time frames, like the four hour time frame, are looking kind of bullish because we have a bullish divergence. However, some of the higher time frames, like the three day, the five day, and potentially soon the weekly time frame, are actually starting to look quite ugly and there is some liquidity sitting at around $57,000 so there is a possibility price goes down to that level one more time we're currently only weeks away from the US election this is going to be a major upcoming catalyst for the crypto market as it's going to give the market some clarity so if you're imagining Q4 being a very bullish quarter for crypto and that's your underlying thesis in my opinion one of the major catalysts that will drive this thesis is going to be the US election where Bitcoin and crypto is a popular debate topic by the candidate candidates leading into the election which adds spotlight to this industry and this election is happening on the backdrop of what we saw yesterday where unemployment numbers are coming in slightly higher than forecast and the labor market is also showing weakness as we saw unemployment claims numbers coming in higher than forecast so trade cautiously leading into the US election for now though the price of Bitcoin is still holding this fair value area so the uptrend is still strong if you're finding value in these Bitcoin technical analysis updates give this video a thumbs up on your way out and I'll see you next time